So I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I'll be using this Iso Plus hair gel. This retails for 19.90 something. It's not more than 20 rand. You can get it at Cosmetics Inc. or at um, Shoprite or any local supermarket really. And then there's this gel wax. I hope it's in. I also got this at Cosmetics Inc. This retails for 54 rand, sometimes 50 rand. You can get it at Cosmetics Inc. or a local supermarket as well. And then today I purchased this um, Ultra Holding Spray. Hopefully it will help keep everything intact longer. To start this off, I'm going to section my hair into two parts and apply the gel. When applying the gel, don't go overboard because you are still going to apply the gel wax and using too much gel makes your hair take forever to dry. Just combing it upwards using my pick. You can use anything that works for you. I like using this. And now I'm gonna do the front part literally the same way I did the back part, just applying gel. Take out a few hairs. These are going to be for your edges. I prefer doing this before putting them, putting all the hair into the into a into a bun because then this prevents the hair from breaking. Also, I have a really <laughs> non-existent hairline, so doing this helps save the little hair that I have. And then I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to join the two parts together. So working in sections is not really a must, but it makes life easier if you're not in a rush. I'm gonna redo this again because we are yet to apply the wax. So now I'm gonna go in with this gel wax. The consistency of this, it's like this. This helps like hold the hair together. It's not that thick, but it does the job. So you're going to keep brushing it and smoothing it until you feel like there's enough of everything. And then after that, I'm going to take this out and retie my hair.
So once you feel like you have smoothed it enough and you've put enough product, um, enough of the gel wax, you can tie it up. Word of advice, don't tie it too tight, you'll regret it. So I'm gonna go in with this um, spritz. Let's hope it works. Let's hope it'll keep everything intact. I sometimes go in with a toothbrush as well just to like, I don't know, smooth everything. Smoothing is quite important here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with another hair tie. Um, we can do our edges. Okay, so now we're gonna do our edges. We'll be using the gel wax and some gel like this is really tricky when you start <laughs> but you'll get used to it with time you find a way to just I don't know wing it But once you get the hang of it, it's it's quite easy. So you drag it down and go up. That's literally what you do. And you smooth it with your finger if you like, if you please. So yeah, so I'm gonna do this on this side. So for the curly ponytail, I'll be using this Amanzi braid by Ebony. It retails for 19.99. I got it at Cosmetics. It was really affordable. Everything that I use here is super affordable. I'm trying to get you looking snatched on a budget. All I'm doing now is stretching the hair so that it doesn't look choppy. This takes a hot minute. It's so tedious, but it's worth it. So once your hair is stretched, take a hair tie, preferably one with really good elasticity, and this is all you do. Leave it. 
so this is the braiding hair now I made five braids out of it and I'm gonna boil it for a minute in this little bucket and then I'm gonna leave it out to dry and we will use it tomorrow this is how the hair will look once you've unbraided it and boiled it so just take it and do this take this part do it upside down get a good position take a piece of your hair and then wrap it around This is my final look i hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one